my name is Nathaniel Borenstein. I'm the chief scientist at Mimecast. Um, my job at Mimecast is to be uh, the forward-looking technical eyes uh, of the company. I work on things like uh, intellectual property creation, on long-term product planning, um, standards, uh, things like that. Uh, I was here today uh, to help kick off this event um, by providing some uh, level setting, some basic information about what cloud computing really means and where it fits in the historical context. Um, I found that the audience is uh, very knowledgeable, very intelligent, and had a lot of questions about how these new technologies relate to uh, the complex legal environment they find themselves operating in. Um, what's really different with cloud computing is the fact that it's easy for almost any small company to create a service with customers all over the world, and most of them don't even know what laws they're supposed to obey, let alone how. So it's a very interesting and, and, and challenging new area. I don't find, in general, that the, um, the technical details of cloud computing are the biggest problems. I, I, I usually have to spend some time explaining the different types of cloud computing, um, uh, public clouds, private clouds, that sort of thing. Uh, but really, we, we tend to um, get pretty quickly into the implications of various architectures. So for example, if you have redundant servers in England, um, what does that say for potential customers in Germany? Whose laws do they have to follow? So, so once you have a certain amount of technical information, the, the discussion can turn legal very quickly, and yet they seem to keep occasionally coming back with, with more detailed questions now and then. Well, I think, I think the biggest problem isn't quite technical. It's, it's, it's almost uh, social. Companies that are just now getting into cloud computing, they know that they are not early adopters. Um, cloud computing has gotten past that stage. But they also um, they tend to be the companies with the most complications, uh, may, may, sometimes the most conservative companies, but largely the most complications. So they know that cloud computing is where they need to go, and yet perhaps they're operating in 20 different countries, and they don't know exactly um, how they should go about making sure that they're not opening up either big security problems or big uh, legal liabilities by the way they sign up with, uh, with, with a cloud provider. So I think that's, that's really the biggest challenge. The biggest concern that I hear about um, from potential customers or, or actual customers is the fear of lock-in. If I put my data with a cloud provider, uh, how do I know I'll ever be able to get it back again if I'm unhappy? Um, and that's actually a technical question that is largely addressable by legal solutions, which are terms and conditions in your contract that uh, commit the vendor to doing that. But in my experience, the, the reputable vendors all are eager to do a good job of helping unhappy customers leave because their reputation will actually be enhanced by that. Not by the customers leaving, but by the fact that they helped. Well, I think cloud computing is computing uh, looking forward far enough. Uh, in, the, in the past, starting back in the 1960s, there was a lot of effort to, uh, to reduce the administrative burden and complexity of computing for business, uh, uh, business users. So we had time sharing, we had application service providers, we had client server models, we had all sorts of things. And frankly, the infrastructure just wasn't quite mature enough. But now that it is, there are very few things that I think won't be deployed as cloud computing. So I think uh, uh, just as the future of, of most kinds of information retrieval for consumers is the web, I think the future of most kinds of business applications uh, is going to be cloud computing, which is really a more sophisticated and secure um, uh, application built on top of the web and, and other internet protocols. This was my second, uh, my second event with the Cloud Circle. They've been, uh, first of all, really fun. I, I, I really enjoyed them. It's a, it's a good crowd of people you've got to get, gotten together here, um, both on the staff, um, which seems to be growing very fast, and, uh, and the people who come. Um, I like the mix of technical and business and legal people. Uh, that's exactly what you need uh, if you want to take a, an intelligent, uh, careful, and yet definitive step into the cloud. You want to be able to say, we know what the legal situation is, we know what the technical situation is, we've thought it all through, and we're taking the plunge. It, it is a big plunge for a business doing it for the first time. Um, this is a place where you can get all those pieces together, and it's, uh, I would think for potential customers uh, it could be invaluable to be able to get all those perspectives in one place and have listen to them talking with each other and you know getting to the truth that way